What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Georgia Bulldogs and why I think they are a major contender for the playoff this season but if you haven't please like share subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified for future uploads and by doing so it greatly helps out my channel and it helps me grow as a content creator and as we all know uh, Georgia won the national championship um, they did it in a season where everybody had them winning it you know they was done it the whole season guys so they had a young offense that, that stepped up and their defense had a lot of seniors and juniors. Uh, it was a phenomenal defense, guys. Uh, they played good all season. And, uh, you know, luckily they got some of those guys coming back. But uh, I'm going to talk about the offense first, guys. But I'm going to give you a little notes on Georgia. Of course, we all know they went 14-1. Um, Nils averaging 38 points a game. So that's pretty good, guys. That'll definitely get them to the playoffs. And on offense, you know, I'm going to start with the quarterbacks. They have Stetson Bennett coming back. You know, he won, helped them win the championship, guys. So that's going to be a huge cog in the offense. He's a guy that, that knows it. Um, he's played all season, and he's going to have that continuity going on with Todd Munkin. So that's a, a good help. And they also have Brock Vandegrift. Um, they also have Carson Beck, and then they have a talented uh, freshman coming in and Gunnar Stockton. So it's going to be interesting, you know, see how the quarterback battle, you know, plays out. You know, I would assume Stetson Bennett would take the job, but, you know, Brock Vandergriff is a talented player, and and there's a lot of hype about Gunnar Stockton coming in. So it's going to be interesting to see who gets the job. But I would assume Stetson Bennett would get it, considering he has the continuity with the team. So... Now, running back, they have Kenny McIntosh and Kendall Mil Milton, Dejon Edwards, and Branson Robinson. So, you know, there's four, you know, guys in the running back room that they have guys. And I'm pretty sure they have some more guys coming in. But I would expect, you know, Kenny McIntosh and Kendall Milton, you know, probably be the one-two header at the running back position. And we all know this is Georgia. You know, Georgia – it's been a staple for running backs, guys. Uh, they always been able to develop good running backs. So I, I don't have, you know, I don't see anything going to be a problem as far as running the ball. So that's going to be good. And at wide receiver, they have Adona Mitchell and Lade McConkey, uh, two guys that should be able to step up. Um, I know Lade played a little bit last season, you know, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do in the wide receiver room, you know. But here's where things get interesting, guys. Their tight end position. They have Darnell Washington, who's a, a physical specimen, guys. He's very, very big. Um, and if you can get him out of space, he's going to be a problem to deal with. And of course, they're bringing back Brock Bowers, who is a beast. Uh, he was a problem for every team that he played, guys. He's just a, a matchup nightmare. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does in his second year. But I just found out that Eric Gilbert is back with the team, guys. And we all know, you know, Eric Gilbert is, was a five-star guy. He's a very, very talented player. So with them three guys on the field at once, like, that could be very, very, very dangerous, guys. And, and considering they have Lake McConkey and Adonna Mitchell on the outside. So Georgia's offense can, can really be uh, lethal, guys. Um, that's going to be something to look out for. But uh, I'm going to switch over to the defense, guys. And like I said, last season, you know, their defense was phenomenal. And they're losing a lot of guys like, you know, N'Kobe Dean and, you know, Jordan Davis and stuff like that. But they still have some guys coming back, guys. And they have Nolan Smith come back. That was huge for them to get him to come back, guys. And then on the other side, you got Robert Bill. So there you have two pass rushes right there, guys, that's, that's going to be up front. And then in inside, they got Ryan Davis, Jamon Dumas Johnson. Then they got Trez, Tresman Marshall, uh, Smell Munden, and Xavier Sori. So, guys, they they have some guys in the uh, middle linebacker position, but they're kind of young, guys. So they're going to have to get some experience, you know, playing this season. But it's, it's Kirby Smart's defense, guys. So I expect, you know, them 
he's going to have them playing at a high level, guys. So I expect that. And on the D line, they have Jalen Carter, Zion Lowe, and Nazir Stackhouse. So they got, you know, some guys uh, may not have got that much playing time on the D line, but, you know, with time, they'll probably get, get to the point where they'll be playing at a high level. So, you know, that's good. But I think Georgia's strength is going to be the secondary guys. They're getting Tyke Smith back. William Poole is coming back. They got Christopher Smith. Then they have uh, Keely Ringo and then Kamari Lassiter. So they have guys in that secondary, guys. They got a lot of experience. And some of the guys were hurt, uh, like Tyke Smith, but uh, he'll have a whole offseason to get healthy. And um, I think the Georgia's secondary is going to be their strength this, uh, this year, guys. So that'll be something to look out for. And um, I think. That's pretty much it, what I have as far as my notes, guys, and what I, you know, jot it down about the Georgia defense. Um, I know uh, they got Will Muschamp and Glenn Schumann as co-defensive coordinators, so they're going to bounce off each other and help each other out with the defense. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's Kirby Smart's defense. You know, he's running things, and we all know Muschamp uh, is a pretty, uh, pretty good defensive mind as uh, well as Glenn Schumann. So, you know, got all those – all three of those guys with great defensive minds, and I expect Georgia defense to be, still be pretty good this season, guys. It may not be as good as last season, but it might have the potential to get better. I don't know, but they're losing some guys, so but I think they're still going to be decent guys. But if they can get the defense to play like I did, you know, somewhat like I did last season, I expect Georgia to, to be a major contender for the playoffs, guys. So, but what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't, once again, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.